This meeting okay. is being recorded. And just let me make that a is. more adjustment. <laughs> so as you can see at the top of the screen being held is a compass. And, and I chose that because the word of God is our compass. Yes. The word of, just as a compass, when you're lost, it shows you direction. Yes. Just as a compass, when you're needing to go to a destination, it'll, it'll aid in you getting there. As you use properly, can't use a compass pervertedly, take you the wrong way. Mm -hmm. So that compass is a symbol for the word of God. As yes. long as we apply it properly, it'll take us to where God has us to be. Mm. And as long as we follow it faithfully, then it will, we will, the spirit of God will work on our behalf and take mm. us to his desired end. Yes. So, and it'll also keep you on the path that leads to holiness and righteousness mm -hmm. and keep you off the path of unrighteousness. Okay? Mm -hmm. You know the path that Eve and Adam went. Okay? Mm -hmm. Giving in to the lies of the devil. You know the path of David. When mm -hmm. he was going on. And he's on the top looking out. Looking at all that he, he's over. And he sees this young woman. Or this woman. Mm -hmm. got, him, got him derailed. Okay? Mm -hmm. Us men we got to be careful of that stuff. You yes, ladies, sir. I can't speak for you. I'm not a lady, but you know, I imagine the same thing also. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah. And the key point is derailment from the word of God. Oh, Amen. Oh, okay. So we as we are going, listen, none of us are getting any younger. And if you are, call me later and let me know what the secret is. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes. since we're not, Okay, mm -hmm. it's becoming more and more critical. Actually, no matter what age you are, it's becoming more and more critical that you follow the yes. path of God for your life. Yes. Okay? So with all of that said, uh, we're coming on our end of year review. Uh, we're going to cover John chapter 1 to 29. And this is all that we covered every week this year, 2022. Mm -hmm. We started off with John chapter 1, verse 29, and we're ending up with uh, John chapter 6, actually verse 45 or somewhere in there. Okay. So the first thing, the Bible, okay? The Bible gives commands to obey, patterns to follow, principles to lead, and promises to assure. So mm -hmm. reading the Bible there's a purpose, there's a meaning. This is just not one of those things we do that waste time, like sit in front of the TV and just binge mm -hmm. watch whatever you like, okay? Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as everything is done in its proper place. But when it comes to the Bible, there never is such thing as a waste of time with the Bible. Mm -hmm. There That's never true. is such thing as uh, you can, um, you just mindless doing something because when it comes to the bible god has a purpose yes okay and god has in the bible commands and patterns and principles and promises that as we get into the word or when we get into the word and we start applying will bring us to an expected end and that end yeah. is a good place yeah. it's not a bad place Okay, mm. so the Bible, that's what the Bible gives. The Bible is from God to man. Okay, God did this and he gave it to us for a purpose. And in mm -hmm. the Bible, we see and are told through interaction with God, the Father and his only son, Jesus Christ, in lives of people. Okay, in lives of people. Think about it. All of the interaction between God and Moses are events that happen that we can learn from. All of the interaction through the Old Testament prophets and the things they went through are things we're to learn from. The interaction that Jesus, in which we're studying and, and John, the book of John, the interaction between Jesus and the disciples and Jesus and the crowd and other people are all in there are commands to obey, patterns to follow, 
principles to lead and promises mm -hmm. to assure. And the one promise that really sticks out is the promise <clears throat> of salvation. Amen. The promise that when I was born on this earth and I accept Jesus, my path is altered from hell to heaven. What a mm -hmm. promise. Amen. Wow. What a mm -hmm. promise. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, you can jump in anytime if you have a memory of a particular chapter or verse that we're reviewing. So this is what we covered this year in 2022, scripture teaching. We started the year off with John chapter one, and actually we were up to like verse 29 or thereabouts. And the topic of the teaching was John the Baptist proclaims Jesus as the Messiah. Jesus, yes. the Lamb of God. Mm. Okay? So that was what we, we learned about. John. John's his cousin. John proclaims him. And you want to know something? This is a pattern we're to follow. We are to proclaim Jesus to those around us. Yes. Okay? By word and action. Remember, John was different. He was different. He, he was filled with the Holy Spirit before birth. Yes. Okay. So that's one thing. <laughs> then we moved on. So anybody got anything? Just say question, comment. Okay. But I'm going to move on. So the yeah. next group of lessons, the next lesson was the first disciples follow Jesus. And the first disciples, uh, John chapter 1, verse 35 to 51. And one of the things I particularly uh, interested in, what kind of character, okay, um, that Jesus comes to and he says, follow me, and they follow him. Like, what's the ingredients? What's going on there? Mm -hmm. okay, sometimes I have a mind to dig down into things. And one of the things that I remember they had encounters with Jesus before, and it came to a point of reckoning, okay? And that reckoning was Jesus said, come and follow me, okay? And when that time of reckoning, because they had interaction before, when that in the time of reckoning came, their answer was they followed, okay? So one of the things we can learn, you know, there's a lot of things teaching us about God, but then it comes to that one time <clears throat> that the spirit of God can come in and say through a person or however God wants to do it, let's not limit them, come and follow me. Okay. Mm. And we covered that way back there in chapter one. If there's no questions or comments about chapter one, Jesus, uh, John the Baptist proclaims Jesus and the first disciples follow Jesus, then I will move on to chapter two. Okay. And yeah. later, I was, go ahead. I was just thinking, as you mentioned, um, when he came and called, they, they, um, nobody asked, "What will we get?" Or I don't, I don't remember if anything like that. You can remind me. And and it's the same way when we um when we are called, when we answer the call of salvation, we shouldn't really think about what will we get because um, the eternal life that is promised to us covers everything. Yes. So I don't remember if any of them had questioned what will they get if they follow him. Right. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can say, I don't recall, but remember, these are Jews. So they read the Old Testament. They knew the Old Testament. They knew about the Messiah. Okay. And this was the Messiah in front of them. And as Deaconess Pike had said this morning, we're learning. And these disciples were learning. Okay. They were actually mm -hmm. adding on the basis of the scriptures. It was basically being lived out in front of them. Mm -hmm. Pastor Manning, you have your hand up, ma'am? Yes, sir. I was just going to say that, um, <clears throat> and all of us being believers on this line, when the Holy Spirit compels you, you can't resist. Mm -hmm. And I think there was something 
and you know when you hear the Holy Spirit and it just strikes a chord in you um, that they must have felt that when Jesus says follow me and I will make you that there had to be something in the power of his voice the sound of his word that really compelled them and you know when the Lord makes a demand and you don't know how it's going to turn out you don't know all the details but you get up and follow him and I think mm. maybe perhaps that's what happened with them that because of the power of Jesus mm. and the strength of his spirit that when he made that call no one can resist when he calls when he's yes. calling you you know not when the a word is being preached because people resist that or for whatever but when mm. it's the Holy Spirit getting to you oh. you it's hard to resist and mm. I, I I'm just thinking I'm just thinking. I, I have no special revelation. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> but but it, the amazing thing about God is that he does the inviting and he does the empowering. Yeah. Oh, preach. And we're just recipients. So in the case of the disciples, God, you listen, God has a way of preparing you for what's coming up and you don't know nothing about it. Yeah. Some of it is through the scriptures. You get to read scriptures, but the power of the Holy Spirit itself, how mm -hmm. he interacts with us is, is, is God. Okay. And, and I say mm -hmm. it's amazing and it's powerful and it has a yeah. purpose. Okay, and that's all I can really say about that because it's unexplainable how he does it, but yet it's lived yeah. out in your and my life. And that's one of the things that really want to stress. <clears throat> We're learning from people's lives that did not live as we are living now. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so in that aspect, it has no meaning, but because it's God and the things that he was teaching and how they responded, there is a lot that has impact on my life now. Yes. Yeah. yeah nothing, okay. nothing is wasted. Nothing, nothing is wasted. wasted. No. That's nothing. It. No. Okay. You learn so, mm -hmm. moving on to chapter two, we yes. covered Jesus turns water into wine at the wedding at Canaan. Uh, that was chapter two, verse one to 12. Okay. And then we moved on to Jesus clears the temple, mm -hmm. chapter 2, verse 13 to 25. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the miracle of turning water into wine, hey, that's a good thing. But mm -hmm. any of y'all go to a wedding and they got water and needed it to turn into wine and it happened? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, you've been to weddings. I got that. But the turning. So there got to be something else. And in that is a principle that there is nothing impossible for God. Amen. Okay. So that's just one of the things that we can get out of that. We can get out of a knowledge of God, knowledge of Jesus, his person. Okay. Notice that one of the things that, that strikes me is that Mary actually came and asked. He Actually, Mary came and told Jesus the situation. Yes. So we need to follow that pattern yeah. of telling Jesus about the situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Us men, stop with the pride and figure it out yourself. Okay? <laughs> you ladies, I can't speak. I'm not a lady. Maybe one of y'all can chime in. Okay? <laughs> but seriously, here is a pattern that we met all right, I'll, I won't. I'll take the hit, okay? Minister Pike and Deacon is and Deacon Corey. I'll take the hit. This minister <laughs> has a problem, okay? It's self sufficiency. Stand with you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I am not on an island. No, no, no. <laughs> no. But this is one of the patterns that we can pull out from that chain from that event and apply to our lives, yeah. okay? Amongst others that you may come up with. 
Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No. I, oh, go ahead, Corey. No, go, go ahead, Pastor Sam. Go ahead. I was just going to say that I found it interesting that she would go to him with something that was impossible. Wow. And to me, <laughs> what it suggests is that growing up at home, there were some other things that were impossible, and he did it. Amen. So Amen. she went to him because she knew if yeah. anyone could do it, my son can. And not only that, yeah, she was yeah. told that he was to be the Messiah. Yeah, he must. So she she didn't go to anybody else. She didn't go to any of them people at the wedding or aunt. she went to her son because she knew he could get the job done. That's my thinking. No yeah, special, man. no mm. special revelation. Yeah. <laughs> she, he must have, she must have seen him do strange things. Yes, yes, too. yes, absolutely. Now, now let's say strange things to us, but, but normal exactly. things to him. Yeah, right. Right. of course. Of and, course. And, and listen, you, you women, you know your children. Yeah, you yes, yes. Right? Us husbands, us fathers, you know what kind of... Uh, Blind it because we're doing we're, we're focused on other things. But you mm -hmm. listen, I tell Sir Dawn certain about one of the children, and she comes back with exactly what's going on. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so the, the same principle so, here. Okay. Yeah. Mary uh. knew her child. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I was I was touched by by was. the 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 relationship. <laughs> yes. Um, I was I, I was fortunate enough to, to to have a mother that basically like I felt like I would have I would have moved heaven and earth for it. Um, mm. So I uh, you know you could you could see th that that relationship and it speaks to me of wow. having that relationship with Christ and Him being in tune with what you're feeling and and if it's his will you know it it it, it shall be done it shall yes. be done unto you know you yes. know for you you know yes. absolutely you. Yes. absolutely wow and Say that's the scriptures Corey. coming Say alive me, go ahead i'm sorry i said to brother cory same here with my mother yeah, yeah. you know i mean she can, she knows everything that was going on with her children and i had a very close relationship with my mother i mean i tell you I love her so much because yes. she was, she was, she knew everything. It seemed she could read your mind, she'd read your action, your being, your pattern, yes. everything. Mm -hmm. Because yes. I said, I mean, mothers are special. I mean, we men must understand that. Yes. Because of the, they, they spent months in the womb when they were born. They saw everything for, before men can activate their real role in that baby's life. The mother, Yes. All that nine months in the womb and all the young mm -hmm. growing up. Absolutely. Yes, yes, so yes. There's yes. a deep bond and relationship that goes mm. on. Yeah. 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 Mm. And that's just all of the things we're talking about from Jesus turns water into wine. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the next one I like Jesus clears the temple. You mean that the, the, <laughs> the Jesus that the world says is humble and mm -hmm. lonely mm. and he can be, be no. This guy got mad and he went and cleared the temple. <laughs> don't play with him. Don't, don't play, play with Jesus. Don't, don't play with Jesus. Yeah. Don't play. You yeah, keep yeah, on yeah. using my father's house for the wrong reason. I'm gonna huh. come and I'm gonna take care of Woo. it with yeah. certainty, with purpose. Come on. Um, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, that, yeah. That 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 showed a lot to me. That listen, um, there's some things we just gotta take. And there's some things we ain't got to take. Yes. <laughs> and when it comes to the things of God, okay, some of it we ain't got to take. Mm, Jesus no. saw that they were using the temple for a wrong reason, and he went yeah. in there and he, he cleared it out of the nonsense. Mm -hmm. And this gives me a spiritual insight, what I should be doing daily within my thoughts, within my desires, within okay. my actions, within my motivation, clearing out this temple to be used Amen. for God the more. Yes. 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 And that's yes. just a spiritual uh, uh, discipline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Principle. And I'm sorry, principle. In this temple of ours. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. 
how we need to do it. Sometimes we need to, to do an internal thing, you know? Yes. Because yes. the outwards, uh, maybe they, they portray something else, but the inward part of us, we need to clean mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. that we can, yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's a good revelation. And, yes. and here's the thing. It takes power. Yes, it takes discipline. It takes discipline. Determination, determination. It takes the spirit yes. of God. Yes, yes. <clears throat> okay? Yeah. And then it takes you. Yes. Because yeah. it wasn't, it, even though Jesus was moving as the son of God, he's, mm -hmm. it was still his hands. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It was his body. Yes. yes. Okay? So there's some things we got to go hand-to-hand -hand combat on, saints. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Corey, you had something it, to say, sir? Yeah, and it and it leaves it leaves no doubt in terms of how how God feels about when when you corrupt the message oh, that, yes. is, that is that that is that should be portrayed. If you yes. if you wow. try to change your message, if you you know spin mm -hmm. it differently, this mm. it, this evidence is is enough evidence to tell you this is how he feels about it. So you you're not left in, in any doubt. As to, to to what how he's thinking or how he's feeling. Absolutely, okay. well said, and, and yeah. that brings me to another thought. Uh, we as believers, we better make sure we're handling the word of God properly. Yes. Okay, because if the perversion comes in, and we don't do the hand to hand yeah. combat to get it out, well, God may do hand to hand combat with us. Just saying. Yes. Yes, okay. sir. Mm -hmm. yes, Any sir. other comments? Jesus clears the temple. We got two more frames and then we're going to go into prayer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if there's no more in that. Chapter three, my man, Nicodemus. <laughs> Nicodemus. Corey, I think my memory serves me that you were Nicodemus. <laughs> I remember Brother well. Nicom. I remember well. You remember well. Brother <laughs> Nicom. Brother Nicom. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we had a visitation from Nicodemus himself in the form yeah. of Corey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Corey. Yeah. And it revolved around a conversation. Yes. A conversation between Nicodemus, who was a leader of the Jews, who had knowledge, who but he still saw he needed to come and seek Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some people make a, you know, he came by night, whatever. This most important thing is for okay. us to seek Jesus. Yes. Day, yes. night, whatever. No matter what time. Mm -hmm. No matter what time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's just one principle to draw out. Um, a pattern. Okay. Meet with Jesus, make a time to meet with Jesus. Okay. But li yes. listen, I don't know about your life, but my life, I got too much on the plate and I'm working on cutting it down, honestly. Mm. But within the too much on the plate, you got to, hey, I got to go meet with Jesus if it's only for mm -hmm. a few minutes. Got to save that space. Yes. Yes. Got to save that space. Thank you. Save that mm -hmm. space. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so Nicodemus, it was nice having you through the year. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a change man. I'm a change man. <laughs> <laughs> that is the guy. Guy. That I is heard so best that to a person. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Uh, I was, I, I, I'll see you at, at the end of the chapters. <laughs> Uh, next lesson, John the Baptist tells more about Jesus, okay? And that just tells me as much as we think we know, there's more to know. Amen. 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 Amen to that. Okay? Amen to so, that. So I'm sure we all experience, we read verses, we read the Bible through whenever mm -hmm. we go back. And then the more we read, the more we learn. Yes. And it's not that yes. we're learning it, it's that God is, it knows that, okay, now is the time mm -hmm. to reveal such a thing. Ah, wow. So it's laid out for us to learn. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You're just so, preaching today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pastor Manning, thank you.
<laughs> and and We're if you have time for us to if, take if you have time at the end of it at the end of the thing i'm going to ask you and pastor manning a question it hasn't okay. it's it's not related to john okay but it's a, it's a, something from the scripture i'll make sure i we save time okay. <laughs> so um john so there's always listen God is not a boring God. Not no. at all. There's not always not. something more. Okay? Yes. And yes. with the something more only comes as we seek the more. Yes. Mm. yes. There's yes. an expression, and I got I, I got to find this because I keep saying it. Deep calling deep. Mm. Deep calling to deep. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Deep calling to deep. Yes. Sir. Okay. We, we, we're, let, let's just, in your mind's eye, Picture yourself on the beach or the pool <laughs> that, you know, you, you reach five feet and you're whatever, and then you get six feet and mm. then you're whatever till you get 20 feet and you're completely covered. Mm -hmm. yes. So the, the deep things in God are calling the deeper things in God. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's where we have, first off, we got to come to this knowledge. Yes. Second of all, we got to continue in the path. This is a mm. continual thing. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's ch uh, ch chapter three. Moving on to chapter four. Mm -hmm. Jesus and the Samaritan woman. Oh boy. What okay, we got. Go ahead. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is Deacon All Roach. Right. Hey, Deacon Roach. All right. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Thanks for yes. the reminder. We had the Samaritan woman with us. Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes. And it was and a I pleasure just... to learn from her. Yeah. And I can say like Brother Corey, I'm a changed woman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Come and see. Come and see. Yes. Well, well, wait a minute. Now we got the testimony of two people yes. who encountered Christ and are changed people. Change. Yes. Okay? Yes. yes sir. What a That's testimony. To be. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so Jesus and the Samaritan woman, thank you. We had the Samaritan woman there. Then Jesus tells about the spiritual harvest. We got to understand that as the events happen, Jesus will come and tell us the spiritual meaning behind the physical events mm. as he did with the Samaritan woman. Okay. We, there are, so there are. Things that we have to, to learn. Because mm. here's the thing. We're in the physical. And as we get to know Jesus Christ, we're now born into the spirit. Mm -hmm. And then we got to learn the things of the spirit. Mm -hmm. yes. But how can we learn the things in a realm that we are not in? Mm -hmm. So Jesus mm -hmm. used the things of the spirit, of the physical, to stretch us into mm -hmm. the things of the spirit, spirit. world. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that's and what he did to the Samaritan woman. Yeah. You know what, what else I discovered too? That um, when once you meet up with him and once you have been changed, you cannot help, you cannot hide it. It's no. not, it's not hidden. Your change cannot be hidden. So you mm. either have to manifest it or verbally tell somebody, yes. like the Samaritan woman did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She went and called. Yeah. And isn't it's that how we do with our people around us? They know something's different. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It's a... mm -hmm. Minister Panky. Go ahead, sir. Between the experience of Nicodemus and the Samaritan woman, as you taught, the certainty of our salvation is in the hands of the Son, because God entrusts him with judicial and executive authority to be Lord and judge. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's a Absolutely. That's a the certainty of our salvation is in the hands of the Son. Because mm. God entrusts 
with judicial and executive authority to be Lord and judge. Yes. 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 And we got this in, in this physical world. I was thinking on this. In this physical world, it just so happens to that what we have believed to be a guarantee yes. has been proven not to be a guarantee. Be Amen. 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 But we did not bring that into the spiritual realm when it comes to Jesus. Right. Because what he says is a guarantee is a guarantee. Amen. Yes. Yes. And that Amen. is what we're to hold on to. Amen. Okay? So thank you for that comment. So Jesus tells about the spiritual harvest, which the spiritual harvest is souls coming in, people coming into the family of God. Okay. Uh, then we're told many Samaritans believe. So in your life, and I was thinking about this, there are some people that you may know that you touched because you're a, a Christian. But there may be some others that you have no clue mm -hmm. that you touch because you're mm -hmm. a Christian, but yet yes. it's manifested way down the line in their life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So yes. the most important thing for us, just live the life. Yes. yes. Don't get yes. caught up in all of the stuff. Just live your relationship with God mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, last one. Gee, thank you. Jesus heals an official son. Okay. So we had Jesus uh, doing um, like a thing of nature, water into wine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we got him doing uh, something with the physical body. Okay. Showing us Jesus is not limited in his actions. Okay. Supernatural. Yes. The supernatural. supernatural. Yes. Okay. Chapter five. Mm -hmm. Jesus heals a lame man by the pool. Okay. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah. one of the things that jumps out at me at this one, as you go about doing the will of God, there may be there will be people who will come and fight you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember the religious leaders? How can he do this? They nitpick. Mm -hmm. And they nitpick that he did this on a Sabbath day. How dare him? Uh, the man needed help. Right. How dare you come and nitpick me? I'm just saying. Uh, uh, next, Jesus claims to be God's son. He is God's son. He's telling them truth. And yeah. one of the things that steps that come out at me here is all of these people that had a conversation with Jesus. Uh, okay. Just had an out and out conversation. And you know, Jesus. He conversated with them, but he did not do it in a spirit of just uh, judgmental. It's just that he laid it out there for him, for them to take up or to receive or reject. Mm -hmm. The judgment, they're already in judgment. I mean, you know, without Christ, we're being judged to hell. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. That's yeah. it. And then... Jesus supports his claims. Okay? Mm -hmm. He makes a claim, yeah. he supports it. Yes, sir. Good enough for me. Because mm -hmm. he's the only one that I know that can make a claim and back it up 100%. Mm -hmm. 100 no variation. 100%, yes. Okay? Then we moved on to Jesus feeds 5,000. Mm -hmm. Okay? John, uh, John chapter 6, 1 to 15. And some more miracles. And these miracles were only to show who he is. And I state who he is. He's Jesus. He's the son of God. Yes. But let's not get caught up in the miracles like the people did. And then when mm -hmm. you, ever, you ever heard that expression, when the rubber reached, hits the road, or yeah. the road hits the rubber, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the point the is, rubber, rubber meets the road. The, the road point down. is, when things get tough, Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Yes. Okay. Are you going to stay in there with Jesus or mm -hmm. are you going to right. leave? Right. Mm -hmm. okay? yes, but sir. these miracles reveal hey, God can handle and do more 
when it was something, I'll say it this way. Jesus was not limited by this physical world. Thank God, because this physical world is hell on earth. Oh dear. oh, dear. Okay? This physical world, it has its good, it has its bad. But thank God he, can, he goes beyond it and is able to accomplish beyond the limitations. Amen. I need some things that go beyond the limitations. And I just, and the scripture reveals to me, the scripture tells me who I can go to for going beyond the limitation. Mr. Any Frankie, comment? Go ahead, sir. It's on you. Mr. Frankie, and all that you're saying there in a nutshell, we are recipients and we have experienced the power of God in Jesus Christ and the change that took place in our lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. And, and I'm thinking, why do this review? Why do we covered the January? Yes. We started off at the end of chapter one. Now in, in December, we're up to chapter six. We basically did five complete chapters of the book of John. Mm -hmm. Next year, we'll do another five chapters or whatever. But here's the why do this? to remind us mm. of all that is of God mm. to, to help strengthen mm -hmm. and provide the strength that we need of all that is demanding in this world mm. to keep us encouraged for the year coming. Yes, yes sir. sir. <clears throat> mm. okay. So all of this goes hand in hand because none yeah. of you, none of us know what's going to come, what's happened next year. Amen, sir. But the one thing all of us, without a shadow of a doubt, know that God is in control. Oh, yes, yeah. Sir. And Amen. that he will work Amen. it out for his glory. Mm -hmm. yeah, he will. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed, yes. And that's yeah. where we, our faith is. Amen, amen, yeah. amen. Okay, so it's like a, a recap, mm -hmm. but it, uh, uh, energizing into next year. Because I don't know about you, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know about you, but there is a lot going on that I just can't grasp. Yep, anymore. yep, yep. You got a partner here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> me too. Me too. Okay. You are not alone. And, uh, you you want to know something? I think it's important that we verse that. Yeah. Yes. That we say that. Because it's not showing that we're weak, but it's nope. showing that we acknowledge where we are, mm -hmm. but yet we have the hope of Christ still in us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Okay? yes. yes. And that is the most important thing. Don't give don't let the things that we're going through in this human experience yes, steal sir. your hope. Oh, yes, yes. Okay? It's Look right. back on chapter one through six mm -hmm. and see the hope of God when mm -hmm. it looks like there is no hope. Mm -hmm. When Amen. it looks like that lame man is going to be there until he dies, until he mm -hmm. has an encounter with Christ. Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. looks like the people came for Jesus and they need food. And yet they, they, they got Jesus, but they need food. It looks mm -hmm. like my needs cannot be met. Mm -hmm. When it looks like I need to get to a certain place and everything around is a, is a brick wall that's closed off. But yet here comes Jesus walking on water. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. all right, all right. When it looks yeah. like I, I, I'm having problems nourishing my body, both physically and spiritually. But here comes Jesus, the bread of life, the but nourishment. Yeah, all of right. Life. Wow. Oh my gosh. And all of this I comes really, from the scriptures. Yes. Yeah, I really appreciate. I really appreciate this review, um, Minister. Thank yeah. you. I yeah, really yeah. do appreciate mm -hmm. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really, really, really food. Really. So, mm -hmm. Next screen. And thank you all for coming on. Uh, now, if you will permit me, um, 
faith building hour in 10 days. I'm going to pray for all who are faithful and all who come on, even if they're not on today. Mm -hmm. One of the things I was impressed to do is pray for everybody. Yeah. That over the past 52 weeks, has oh, come on faith building hour. Oh, okay? good. so Amen. I'm gonna take three Amen. minutes to do that, Amen. and then, um, Minister Pike, can you pray for service growth? Okay, and not only faith building hour, but every service in DBC to grow. Okay, Amen. if you can take three minutes on that. And then uh, Deacon Corey, if you can come on just three minutes and pray for Bishop, and then I will come back and pray for the church leadership from Overseer Kid and Pastor Lenore to Pastor Manny and the other leaders. Okay, everybody has their assignment? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, I will start off. Father, we thank you for Faith Building Hour. We thank you for such a time that we can come to, Lord, and for the strict purpose, Lord, for to have our faith, our belief in you, our understanding of you, Lord, to have our acceptance of you, our dependence on you, to Lord, to grow from your scriptures, Lord, Jesus. that your spirit that is in your scriptures will jump on us, Lord, in our hearts and in our minds. And that, Lord, when we started the hour, Lord, we will have more faith in you at the end of that hour yes, because Lord. of the power of your word that is coming forth, Lord, teaching us principles, teaching us patterns, teaching us commands from you, teaching us those promises that are assured, Lord. I pray for the pikes, Lord. I pray for Deacon Corey and his family, Deacon Roach and her family, Pastor Manny, I pray for those who have come on over the years, Dr. Janice. Lord, I pray for um, all the others, Lord, who names escape me at the moment. Lord, who have come on, even those in my family, with my daughter, my son, my wife, Lord. Lord, and all of the others, Lord. Lord, uh, Deaconess Mildy, Lord, and, and Lord, and others, Lord, and Lord, um, Deacon Valerie, Lord, and 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 yes, uh, Minister Jesus. Duncan when he was able, Lord, and, and yes. Lord, all the others, Lord, uh, um, yes, Minister Lord. Gary, Lord, and Lord, there's so many more that I can't think of. Lord, mm. I ask that you bless them. Yes, Lord, Lord, I ask that your spirit move on their behalf. I ask, yes, Lord, Lord, that you continue to grow these your people, Lord, into a new era in you, Lord, all based on your word, Lord, all based on faith in you, Lord. And Lord, yes. I thank you for the dedication of those to you. And as they're dedicated to you, they come in and bind with what all that you are doing. So, Father, I ask that your spirit continue to move, your spirit continue to bless, and the move of God that moves in a miraculous way, move in these families right now. In Jesus' yes. name I pray. Amen. 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 Lord. And Father, we praise you, we worship you, we lift up your name, Lord. We thank you for the time spent in your presence. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. We bless you for your servant, Minister Bank. Yes, Lord. Oh God, for the wisdom that you have given to him. Yes. God, the teaching of your word. Mm -hmm. yes. The journey that we traveled on from God. January. My God, even until this time, spending our last yes, faith yes. building hour before 20 at the end of 2022 and moving into 2023. We bless yes. you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, for the anointing that you have upon this man of God <clears throat> and for all of us, Lord, a part of faith building hour. And no, oh Lord, we thank you. But day by Bethlehem Cathedral, your house where your honor dwelleth, where your word is ministered week after week. My God, to the people of God, the teaching of your word at Bible study. Yet, Lord, as we look on, realize that these are dark times. These are difficult times that we're living in. Yes. May God, may you inspire my God, I pray today. As your word is being ministered in the house of God. That those who come, Lord, not know you as Savior and Lord, mm. my God, your word, that which you have done in the life of the Samaritan woman, uh, that which you did in Nicodemus's life, mm. and yeah. so many others, 
that came to know you as Savior and Lord because there was a story that needed to be told. Mm. God help us, Lord, as your children, that we continue to tell the story, not to our own families, but to our friends, to co-workers, about the goodness of God. May the house of God minister the word of life so much that those who come and the anointing of those who minister your word from our bishop to Pastor Manning and all other ministers, all other leaders, mm. all other guest speakers, Jesus. that will come to a place of understanding yes. that these are the days of the time of harvest mm. for the souls of men and women mm. who are going to tradition without Jesus Christ. Use your word, Lord, to challenge, to mm -hmm. lift up, oh God, to speak, my God. Yes. That the anointing of the Holy Ghost will fall upon your soul yes, Lord. in a yes, special Lord. way, my God. Yes, so that Lord. the word will go out. As the word was said about Jesus, he spake as no other man spoke. His word it, it lit, lit the fire. As Pastor Manning mm -hmm. said that because of the word that he spoke, the disciples were drawn by mm -hmm. the spirit. May it be God that the house of Deba Bethlehem Cathedral, Lord God, will be a place where God, your word goes out and the fire of the Holy Ghost will mm. fall upon those who do not know you. That will seek you while you may be found. They'll call upon you while you're near. Let us yes. be Lord. As we reminisce this morning, my God, concerning the year in review, may it be Lord. The fire of the Spirit of God fall upon us mm. is a witness to our families, to our friends, to co workers that Jesus Christ is able. In the mm. name of Jesus, we come today and we say thanks, Lord, because you said in your word that your word is, is, is a lamp unto our feet, a yes. light unto our heart, and may we show forth that the light of Jesus Christ is shining in us. Yeah. And that light will be seen by those who we witness to, who we meet. We say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Minister Pike, thank Amen. you for that prayer, sir. Uh, Deacon Corey, pray for Bishop, sir. And Heavenly Father, we, we thank you this time. We thank you this hour. We thank you for the word. We thank you, O oh God, for your under shepherd, Amen. Bishop Curtis Douglas, so mighty God. Father, we thank you that, that he has been placed in this position. He has been placed at this time. Oh, Father, nothing is done by you. <clears throat> Father, we follow him as he follows Christ. Amen. Father, right now, for his continued, oh, Father, perseverance, his continued strength, yes. his encouragement, we pray, Lord, Father, as Minister Pike speak about the anointing, the anointing of you to fall upon him. Yes. Father, I pray that as he steps inside of your sanctuary, yes. each and every time, Heavenly Father, whether he's in his own private devotional or, Father, or whether he comes into the sanctuary, <clears throat> minister unto your people. Each yes. and every time, I pray, Lord, that it will be easy. Father, yes. that it will be light. It won't be a stress. It won't yes. be something that is burdensome. It will flow from his lips. So it yes. In his heart, it will flow, mighty God. Oh. I pray thing that comes, oh Father, that comes to, to, to change his mind or to or to shackle him or to turn him aside. Oh, Heavenly Father, oh. I pray Father, that it will cease and desist in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come to not nothing. Yes, Lord. Oh. To deter him or to let him, Heavenly Father, say something different from the mm -hmm. word. I pray, Heavenly Father, that by the blood of Jesus Christ, Heavenly yes. Father, he will be strengthened. He shall he be, be strengthened. Yes, Lord. Lord, oh God, he knows not what comes in the new year, but I pray, God, that yes. he will be filled with new vigor, with new and yes. Yes, 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 yes. To preach, to teach, to reach the hearts of men, to reach them that are viewing, oh Father, online. I pray, God, for 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 new, heavenly Father, something new to happen. New, yes. but new, but yes, Lord. 
I pray, yes. oh God, that he will be encouraged. I pray, God, yes. will encourage mm. him. I pray, oh God, that he will go and be stronger day by day. Father, yes. I pray for the safety of his family. I pray for the love and the unity and the oneness, the oneness in his family. I pray, oh Father, that he will have time, time, Heavenly Father, to, to share with them and to love on them. I pray, oh Father, for the unity, oh God, that, that, is, that is within them, that it will grow stronger, mighty God. Yeah. I pray, Heavenly Father, that he, as he goes, oh Father, he will know, oh Father, that he's walking in you. Oh Father, I pray, oh Father, as a church, that we will live yeah. <coughs> Yes, yes. yes. Oh God. Never be weary, oh Father, or to forget, oh Father, the purpose that is that is laid before him, the purpose mm. that is in his life, oh Father, and the benefit, oh God, that comes to us because he, oh Father, is obedient to you. <coughs> Heal his body, Heavenly Father, strengthen his mind. Oh, yes. Set him on our path, Heavenly Father. For oh God, that only you can. Go, Father, walk with him. When he's tired, yes. lift him, Heavenly Father. Let him see yes, in the sand yes. that is carrying him onto yes. oh, Father, his purpose and his destiny. Oh, Father, you have called him. You have appointed him, Heavenly Father, and you will do that which is according to your will. So we pray and we bless him now. Oh, Father, him and all his whole soul, let their cupboards never be empty. Oh, Father, let peace and prosperity and joy and love be there, so oh, Father, from this day onward in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Thank Corey, you, Lord. for that. Amen. I will come on and pray for church leadership, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, mm. we thank you for those who you have placed in such positions as overseer kid and pastor Lenore, Lord. We bring them yes. before you. And we yes, ask that the anointing, Lord. the very power of Christ continue. Lord, mm -hmm. that we talk about limitations of this earth. Well, Lord, have them to move in a limitless world, Lord. Lord, with their health, with their finances, with their strength. Mm -hmm. Lord, you are able, Lord, to restore, Lord, to bring yes. them out, Lord, even yes. in their up their yes. ages, Lord, when things Hallelujah. start slowing down, Lord. Lord, so we pray for them. We pray for their families, Lord, that you will save, heal, and deliver. Lord, we pray for Pastor Manning right now, Lord, that we thank you for her in our midst, Lord. And Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord, for all the, that she brings, Lord, to your body, Lord. Lord, so we pray for her. We pray strength unto her. Lord, we pray first and foremost for the real inner spirit of your spirit in her, Lord. Lord, the boldness, Lord, the power, the anointing, the prophetic gift, Lord. Lord, all that is within her, Lord, you will strengthen, Lord, for she may be uh, mature for us, Lord, but she is still young in you, Lord. Lord, so there is nothing limited to her, Lord. Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for all that you're about to do. We pray for her physical being, Lord. Lord, the things that we humans face, Lord. Lord, the things that we humans, Lord, go through. Lord, we pray that supernatural ability of God on her, Lord, to cover her, to protect her, to bring her through, Lord. Lord, that the joy of the Lord is always her strength, even in the times when there's such a weight pressing down on her, Lord. Lord, striving to get her on that off-road. Lord, but the power of God keeps her on the road. The, the compass of Christ yes. keeps her focused on you. Yes. Father, we pray for the ministers, sorry, for the, the leadership of DBC, the reverend clergy, Lord. We pray for the elders, Lord, that your anointing yes, Lord, continue them, to move them. on their behalf, continue to yes. grow them and mold them yes, as you yes. desire, yes. Lord. The <laughs> unity of Christ, Lord, come forward. Yes, Lord. We pray, Lord, for the, the ministers, the deacons, Lord, yes. Lord, for the unity of Christ to come forth and Father yes, to yes, empower and to give direction for all of these who make up these different groups of DBC leadership. We thank you for them, Lord, and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.